I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi boys and girls, happy Friday. It's Miss Kennedy here, and today I am having cauliflower, rice with chicken, hummus and carrots, and a clementine on the side with some water. Hope you have a great day. Grant and happy Friday to you. This is Mrs. Holland and I'm here with your weather for today. Depending on how early you get up, you might get to see some showers. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty much like yesterday. Cloudy and look for a high in the low 50s. Feels more like football weather than it does spring. But hopefully we'll get some sunny days and warm weather soon, and we might even get to see each other again. Miss you. Hope you're staying well, staying safe, and having fun. Hi again, Grant. We're back. It's been six days since we put our egg in the vinegar, and so I want to show you what has happened. Oops. If you remember, we took a raw solid egg, we put it in vinegar, and we cleaned it off, the outer shell has been completely eaten away, and you can see it's mostly starting to solidify. Now I can tell from the feel of this, and I also can see inside that there still is some liquid, so it's not quite ready to bounce. It needs some more time, so I'm gonna put it back in and check on it, but so far it's doing pretty well, and we have turned a liquid into a solid. All right. As I promised, we're going to go outside and show you one more thing you can do over your time at home. So you're going to need a smartphone, probably an adult to go with you, and maybe a jacket. We'll see you out there. Hi guys, this is Mrs. Muscross and Alex and Nathan, and today we want to show you something we learned one year when we were on a field trip to Holden. Uh, we were at the Nature Center there, and we were on a walk, and we heard a chickadee, and the naturalist who was with us took out her phone and played the call. So basically you hear them in the background and Alex is on the app show them the website. It's a website. It's uh, cornellalloutbirds.org. It plays the sound and you can hear in the distance. Huh? There it is in that tree. He's right there. The chickadee has heard the call. It just called responded. Whoa. As you can see, we definitely have a chickadee interested. He has flown over our heads a few times and he comes right when you call. It happens every time you try it. So next time you're outside where there's some woods, go to the Cornell Bird, All About Birds, hit play on chickadee and see if you can get one too. What did the hat say to the scarf? <laughs> I thought you were taking a picture. What did the hat say to the scarf? I don't, I don't know. You hang around here. And I'll go on ahead. <laughs> 